Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about the REST API availability in the ERP integration service for the purpose of loading the attachment or a file to UCM, okay? So here, if you observe in the ERP integrations, we have a web service available for the purpose of loading the data or nothing but loading a file into UCM, okay? So here, I'll just go with the example, which is already available. So in this one, if you observe the second one, so we, we would like to consider the second one, which is having an operation called upload file to UCM, okay? So UCM stands for Universal Content Management, okay? So this inbuilt functionality of Oracle Cloud ERP, which stores the attachments, okay? Or a files, I mean to say. So here, if you observe generally like um, the Cloud ERP, whenever you navigate to the import and export, right? File import and export, which will be available under the tool section. Just see this one. So under the tool section, the file uh, file import and export. So generally what we do is we use this particular file import and export for the purpose of, you know, like uh, loading the attachments, loading the attachment, like uh, maybe especially like uh, for ERP jobs, like whenever you want to use FBDA, FBDA stuff, or maybe if at all of you want to upload any configuration files, you'll be using this particular this particular UCM functionality. And not only that, for any of the module, like um, for in AP invoices, purchase order, sales order, wherever you have attachment functionality, they are linked with the UCM also, okay? But in our case, what we want to do is, we just want to see how do we invoke the REST API, which is available for the purpose of loading the file to the UCM, okay? So let me show you the details here. And also one more important thing is the, whatever the content which you want to load the file, which, the content which you provide in this particular REST API, I mean, the attachment content that should be with the base 64 encoded one. Okay. So this is Oracle documentation for the REST API details. And this is the REST URI, which is provided in this particular documentation. This is my SAS login. And this is my UCM login here. If you observe, let us say, this is your cloud login, right? This is SAS login. Just mention slash CS. This will become your UCM URL. Okay. So what is this UCM URL? You can also observe here. So let me show you that. Yeah, so this is a UCM, UCM URL, which is available by default for the cloud ERP. You can search the files based on the file name or a file ID, okay? Now, in our case, let's go back to this particular nodes. And here, the fully qualified URL, which you have to mention for invocation of your REST URIs, like I just prefix my cloud URL with the REST URI, which is mentioned in the documentation. Here, if you observe, this is my cloud URL and followed by the REST URI, which is mentioned in the documentation. And this is the JSON content here. This is JSON content, which I used it. And also I mentioned the content type. I mean, here, if you observe, right, this is a document content, which is a base 64 encoded one. And this is a document account in which account you want to upload the file. And what is the content type, the zip file, and the, what is the file name? And the document ID, you can just ignore that and you can set the value to null, okay? Now observe this one, like how do we invoke the REST, REST API? You can either use SOAP UI or you can use the Postman. I'm using the Postman client for the purpose of invoking the REST API. So this is my URL. And there are two things we have to mention. One is authorization, which is of type basic authentication. I need to mention the username password and then the content type. So select the body and mention the, mention the JSON content which we prepared, okay? And this is exactly same content which is from Oracle documentation and make sure that you mention the type as JSON because this is the content we are providing the, as a JSON content as an input. Okay. Now we can, if at all, if you want to mention the file name, you can change it appropriate file name. And let us say, if you want to change the content, right? Make sure that you provide the appropriate content as well as make sure that you mention the content type accordingly. Let us say, if you are uploading a text content, this tech content type should be text. Similarly, file name should be similar thing like that. Okay. Now I just change the file name. I'll click on send. Okay. Just observe the document ID, which it will generate. Yeah. So here, if you observe the document ID, which it generated was ending with 882 and you can go to BI publisher and uh, here, let me show you the query. Also, there's a table called revisions. There's a table called revisions. I, I just mentioned ordered by D created date descending and uh, document author is equal to fin IMPL because I invoke the rest API using the fin IMPL user. So obviously the created by will also be the fin IMPL only. So I'll just save this one. Just click on data, click on view. And you should be able to see the latest document which we loaded. Okay. Can you see? 882, right? And the document title is test3.zip. 
let's try again i'll change the file name to test4 and click on send and check the document id again it is 885 go to vip click on view got the 885 right so this is how you can validate your file which you uploaded using the vip query and there is another way still valid you can validate what you can do is you can go to ucm and here just search with the file name test4.zip right click on search check it again test4.zip okay click on this action content information okay can you see you can also read let us say if you want to share this particular share the file content to any of your particular third party vendors or third party systems they can consider this particular valid location for the purpose of downloading the attachment directly this is one way of getting the content for them also now you can just click on this one yeah let me try again maybe so yeah it got downloaded right you can just open this one right so this is how it will be now let's go back criteria yeah so you can search it like this right you'll get the set of results here and this is a ucm document id you can click on document id also to download or if at all if you want to observe some more information you can just click on actions and click on content information and you can find out some more details okay so what all we have done we have seen how do we invoke how do we upload the file to ucm and we have validated validated the content i mean the details of your document using the bib and also we have seen how do we download the file from ucm directly the only thing is you if you want to access your particular ucm information just mention your cloud url slash cs okay this is this is how you can access the information of your ucm details okay that's all about uploading the file to ucm using the rest api which is available in the erp integrations thank you